All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota. Good morning. And let me tell you something. Today is going to be a very different video as I will be reacting to the last video of Fabrizio Romano talking about the three possible transfers, talking about the three possible players Manchester United might be interested in. So we are going to watch it, right? And while we are watching it, we are going to comment about the names, the players, and the plan and the project of Manchester United because I think it's one of the most interesting for the second half of the season this year because of course everybody was expecting for Manchester United to rank a little bit higher but with the exit of Cristiano Ronaldo now nobody knows what's going to happen with I mean either signing another forward signing another midfield a midfielder or signing another or signing anybody and maybe keep going and moving through with the same squad so we are going to react going to change the scene so you guys can um see right now the favorite Romano. i'm gonna change this really quick all right and like favorite Romano says here we go it was pretty clear he discussed cristiano ronaldo in the last few days but now it's the past he said it's time to move on to go on new players to go on the future of Manchester United, we have to be together. Eric and Hag say we have to be unified to rebuild Manchester United. Yeah, over the last interview, uh, Eric and Hag has sent a message to all the Manchester United fans talking about okay, we have to turn the page, forget about everything that happened last year. That's it. Let me tell you something Manchester United has played two games in Spain, one against Cadiz and the other one against Betis, with two losses. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but to me, the problem is bigger than anything Hag wants to um, say it is, right? So, but anyways, I'm going to keep watching the video. I don't want to say anything yet. And he confirmed that Man United are looking for a new striker. He said it has to be the right opportunity. What does it mean that after spending big money on Lisandro, then big money on Anthony, then big money on Casemiro during the summer for Man United is important to find a good opportunity, but not to spend crazy money on the striker. Yeah, the first thing is they have to manage and they have to think about all the money they've already spent, right? A crazy summer with a lot of signings, Anthony and Casemiro especially. My opinion is Manchester United will try to find a good player, somebody who can help, right, but not crazy. And it has to be not cheap, but not overpriced. So let's see um, who uh, Fabrizio Romano is going to say. So this is why they are exploring the market and waiting to act in the best way. They are discussing internally of Cody Gakpo. The contacts with his agents are absolutely ongoing. So there are conversations with the agents of Cody Gakpo, but still no official bid. Yeah, that is the first thing. The first name is Cody Gakpo. As you know, Cody Gakpo is one of the sensations in this World Cup. He has scored so far 13 goals and 17 assists. So it's a guy that can move across the um, attack line. And of course, he might help a lot help a lot to Manchester United in the creation right well not in the not only in the creation but in the finish just to score goals but my opinion is a guy who um, can offer and deliver multiple different skill set right is a guy that can do a bunch of things because it's not only scoring 13 goals and 17 assists so that's that means that he associates with every single player he's a guy who can combine with everyone so he's one of the big might be one of the biggest transfer um, transfers this Christmas. So let's wait a little bit and see what happens. To PSV and Dover, and it has to be a key step of the story, but not just Cody Gakpo, because Gakpo could be available on the market for more than 50 million euros now. It could be around 60, 65 million. It's a, it's a bunch of money, man. 60, 65 million. If you have already spent uh, 80 million in Casemiro, 60 in Anthony. I don't remember exactly the um, number for Anthony and, and Lissandro stuff, but I would say Manchester United has gone above 150 already. Okay, so I don't know. If you add up, right, 60 more, it's going to be like 200 in one season. This package, including some adults, but let's see what PSV. We decide Cody Gakpo would be still keen on a move to Manchester United. This is an important point. So it's on my United now for Gakpo. It's on my United also for uh, all the stories we have on Joao Felix. Because I told you in the video yesterday that Joao Felix is prepared to leave Atletico Madrid in 2023. It could be January. So it's a serious possibility. Atletico Madrid wants more than 100 million euros. So will Jorge Mendes... This is the second one, okay? Joao Felix. As you know, um, three four days ago, President of Atletico de Madrid said they would love 
for uh, Joao Felix to remain in Atletico Madrid, but it's impossible considering the bad and deteriorated relationship between Joao Felix and Simeone. So it's almost impossible for him to stay in Atletico de Madrid and what is very likely to happen is for him to exit as well Atletico de Madrid so that's why Manchester United are already pushing for the player but let me tell you something it is the same thing or even worse than Cody Gakpo Joao Felix is about one 30, okay the, back in the day Joao Felix Atletico de Madrid had to pay uh 120 for the player so apparently they are asking for 130 or so so it's a bunch of money but let me tell you joao felix is a very very top high quality player and all the things he can deliver with are in my opinion the best choice for manchester united of course you already have to bruno fernandez which is a very similar player not the same but very similar right so i don't know if they want to go ahead and try it i mean they will have to ask for atletico madrid and put a lot of money on the table to me out of the three men that he's mentioning he's the most expensive one i mean joao felix is great but it's very very expensive and we will have to wait and see what happens man because this guy i mean i would love to have him in real madrid but for us, it's, it's almost impossible right now. So let's see what happens. But apparently, everything goes in the right way. Oh, before to continue, let me tell you guys, if you want the Real Madrid jerseys or here, or any other um, club team or, or team uh, jersey or whatever, uh, we've been promoted, right, by the store, online store, 7football.net. If you go type it in Google, you will find it. And if you type my code, Jota, J-O-T-A, you will get a 50% discount code so you guys can buy whatever you want. I mean, jerseys, track shoes, pants, and stuff like that. I mean, there's a bunch of things from whoever. It's not only Ramadi, but every single team. They have a bunch of things of everything, right? So the thing is, it's super cheap. What is the downside of that? It takes a lot to receive it, about one month and 10 days, okay? I mean, it's a lot, but that's why it's so cheap. And it's original, okay? Authentic, I mean, no no fake ones, no nothing, okay? I do not mess with that stuff, okay? And actually, all these clothes that I have, it is from that online store. So if you guys want it, 7football.net, go type it and and find it. And the other thing I want to tell you guys, if you want to join my Spanish Twitch community, you can go type in my Twitch channel and you can follow me every single day because normally now December is a little bit weird because there is no uh, club uh, football but uh, typically I interview into Jose Feliz Diaz and other famous journalists in Spain and of course you can watch it even if you don't understand Spanish you will figure it out so twitch.com TV Madrid is my name, is my name in the Twitch channel. So if you guys want to follow me there, just go, you can go type it and that's it. And also in YouTube, I am Dr. Jota, okay, my English channel, you know that. And uh, yeah, in Twitter, same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up accounts in English probably in these days. So, well, let's see what happens and let's continue watching to Fabrizio Romano. Be able to find a different kind of story of formula to bring Joe Felix to the Premier League. Man United know that the player is available. They wanted him in August, but now uh, it's a different situation because it was before signing Anthony. So let's see if Man United will decide to go for traditional number nine and what happens with Joe Felix, who's been discussed with many clubs. So at the moment, still nothing advanced for Felix, but many opportunities as he's a top player available on the market. So Man United will be able to decide on Gaspo, on Joe Felix, if they want to act to enter in this race. Also for Gonzalo Ramos, the striker of Portugal. Who's... Oh yeah, Gonzalo Ramos is great. Gonzalo Ramos, only problem to me, Gonzalo Ramos is a great player. He scored three goals the other day when Portugal won 6 1, right? And I mean, he was actually replacing to Cristiano Ronaldo. So that's why it's another choice for Manchester United and also for Real Madrid. But nobody will care about what I'm saying because Real Madrid is not interested in anybody. So Gonzalo Ramos is a great player. The only problem to me it is the guy only has one. Um, outstanding game right it was that one um, um, when Portugal won 6-1 right and he scored three goals I mean it is not easy of course in a, in a World Cup replacing to Cristiano Ronaldo three goals it's just nuts man so the guy is a promising player and he might be in the agenda or in the list right of Manchester United scored three goals against Switzerland 
he is an important player for Benfica. And so, as I mentioned, Lorenzo Fernandez, I will mention also on Gonzalo Ramos. Benfica want to keep all their best players in January and then to see in the summer. So, yeah, Real Madrid is also interested in another Benfica's player. It is Enzo Fernandez, but I don't think we are going to try and push hard for uh, Gonzalo Ramos. He's a great player, though, but I think that Manchester United, if they want to go ahead and try it, I think that they are going to have chances as the player probably will be, you know, attracted by the idea to join a club like Manchester United, who, in my opinion, has to give something else. It is not just about signings, right? As to me, I, I already said that in different videos, man. To me, the big problem here is Eric Ten Hag. It's not the players that they have. I mean, you have a bunch of good players right now. You have a great squad. Problem is, you don't know how to... Um, explode and blow out this squad that you have because the idea of football that you have to me it's completely outdated right but that is just my opinion it's not gonna be an easy negotiation at all may united what's the point they set their scouts to follow Gonzalo Ramos together with Jeremy Fripon they're at the back of the United. oh so they've been scouting to the players so they, they already know him he's one of the players they are monitoring they sent their scouts in Champions League to watch Gonzalo Ramos they sent their scouts also at the World Cup so he's a player they know very well but at the moment still no big so it's on my United to decide how they want to proceed I wanted to clarify something also on the contracts we have stories on Rashford and Paris Saint-Germain because they wanted him last summer yes we are big well, this is another thing. So, yeah, that, that that's, that's the story, guys. Those are the three names Manchester United are tracking and monitoring because, of course, it is very important for them to follow someone, right, who can help out with different ideas, different football, different, you know, stuff. But let me tell you, I told you, I mean, to me, Manchester United will have to improve in a lot of different areas, right? It's not just signings as if it was just about signings. If that was about... Just, okay, bring an, bring over another great guy, another great player, and that's it. They would have been already in the highest position, right? In the highest rank, but it's not happening that way. Why? Because to me, the I mean, it's not only the, the coach. I mean, it's the manager, the editing hack. To me, he, I mean, he wasn't the, the right coach for Manchester United. To me, that's my opinion. I don't want to... Um, probably you guys are disagreeing with me in... Um, saying something that now this guy doesn't even know what he's saying but man Eric Ten Hag I know him very well I know what Ajax is all about and my opinion is Manchester United needs a top-notch coach not to Eric Ten Hag but that's my opinion those are the three players Manchester United are um, interested in so you guys I hope you like the video of course subscribe and see you in the next one